President Biden comes into office and he decides not to renegotiate mm -hmm. with the Taliban. How mm -hmm. did you feel when he made that decision? Look, when he first came to office, we were all super excited that uh, he won't withdraw or he will change the deal. And I even reached out to some of my principals and I said, we should not really buy into this la-la land. We should really be serious because prepare. Because he said he was going to withdraw. Exactly, exactly. I think everybody hoped that he would put stronger conditions. Which he didn't. Which he didn't, which he did not. It was very well accepted uh, to me and to a lot of us. We said, the US troops will withdraw. But there has to be conditions on Taliban that they commit to, to the achievements that Af the Afghan society has made. Did you get the sense that President Biden cared about the fate of Afghan women? I don't think so. He said the US could not be the police of the world to protect women in any other country. I've got a quote that he said, which I want to get your reaction to. Mm -hmm. So this is when mm -hmm. President Biden gave his speech mm -hmm. Uh, marking the final withdrawal mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. US troops. I'll, I'll just read you, quote, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we'll continue to speak out for basic rights of, of the Afghan people, especially mm -hmm. women and girls. Mm -hmm. I've been clear that human rights will be the center of our foreign policy. Mm -hmm. But the way we do that is not through endless military deployments, mm -hmm. but through diplomacy, economic tools, mm -hmm. and rallying the rest of the world for support. Mm -hmm. What type of tools are left right now to pressure Taliban? That they respect the human rights. 